everybody. Thanks for joining me. So today's the last day of the, this is the 12th week of the 12 week series on Feng Shui. We've covered all of the areas of the Bagua, which I'm going to review in a, you know, after I get finished the 12th section. And I hope that you've been following along or go back and check out what to do if an area in your life isn't working. I'm going to do a Feng Shui class in January. It's going to be three Thursday nights, the 11th, the 18th, and the 25th from 6 to 7.30 or 6 to 8, okay? And then, um, so it's two hours each, and then each week you'll be able to do something, come back, ask questions, whatever you want to do. And then I'm thinking about doing a one day on a Saturday, so we'll see about that. Anyway, so today we're talking about the 12th section of the Bagua. So when you walk in the door, when you walk in, it's the very first third on the left-hand side. So it's right next to the doorway. It's the spiritual section. It's Pisces, and Pisces is ruled by um, Neptune. So Neptune is the sign of like dreaminess, illusions. And let me explain this in a way that it was made easy for me to understand, okay? So we go all the way around the floor plan. We have all these areas and houses in our life, all these characteristics and personalities. So Aries is health and self, image, how you see yourself, how you want others to see you. So something goes there that reflects the image of how you see yourself. Wealth, money in the bank, gold, silver, black and white, the color of our money, mountains, pyramids, anything like strong and established. Gemini, opportunities for income, communications, cancer, the home and hearth, the home body. This is where pictures of the family and things like that go. Love and creativity, section number five, Leo. It's the fun in the relationship. It's the courtship. It's what do I love to do? Then you have the sixth area, Virgo, okay? Far right wall. And that's all about nurturing, caretaking, service to others, tools of your trade. Libra, the scales of justice, balancing, relationships and future partnerships. Your intention letter of who it is you wanna spend your life with. This is where that letter goes. This is sign on the dotted line. This is not romance. This is the real deal. Scorpio, helpful people. Scorpio, hidden agendas. Sagittarius, the number nine section. And remember, you only walk in. Nine, 10, or 11 is always the entrance of the room. So section number nine is all about travel and higher education. Where do you wanna to travel to? Put your books there. What are you reading about? This is what you know. Capricorn, career and achievement, how you're known, certificates, diplomas, you know, your, your title. Aquarius, section 11, networking and income earned by what you do on a daily basis. Because it's not what you know, and it's not how you're known, it's who you know. So here we are, once you've been born, you, here's your personal you, here's your public you. When you get to section 12, this is the area of all of your spiritual items. This is where your altar would go. This is where anything that doesn't fit in the other sections, you can put it there and it's not going to affect your life in any kind of negative way. And I'll give you an example, okay? If you have fresh cut flowers, they can only go in the Romance section because it's it, it's something that means the courtship, the romance. Remember when he used to bring you flowers every week when he came to pick you up for that date? Okay, that's where that stuff goes. You don't want to put cut flowers in the money section because cut flowers die in a week. Remember this when you're placing things anywhere. The universe is literal and what it sees is what you're going to get. So it means no fresh fruit in the health and self section just because fruit is healthy. Because in a week, if you don't eat it, it rots. So keep in mind what your intention is when you put anything in these sections. So this is all about dreams, illusions, spirituality, your crystals, your candles. You want to meditate. 
Make this area your meditation. Oh, here we go. It's behind my door. Okay, so it's behind your door. Put a picture there or put something there that relates to or resonates with what your spirituality and your dreams and wishes and beliefs are. Um, the the uh, essential oils for that area, frankincense, myrrh, helichrysum, patchouli, and the crystal for this section is amethyst. Um, so just remember that this is something, this is all about compassion and you've come full circle. Whatever goes here, whatever you have learned in your life, whatever you have experienced and know to be true in your life, nobody can take away from you. This is where you've completed and achieved all that you've set out to do in your path and your journey. So my suggestion, learn how to set up your life Learn how to place things in your environment that you're giving the intention to the universe about what you really want in here, deep in your life, what you really want going forward. And if you really want to learn how to do this, like I said, I'm doing a feng shui class in January. I'll have it up on the website sometime today, the details and everything. I hope that this 12 weeks has helped some of you if you've followed some of the tips that I've given you I hope that it has really brought some wonderful things into your life and some change that was much needed. If you haven't done it, go back, definitely check it out. And if you really want to make some nice new changes, that's why I'm doing my feng shui class in January. So you can start out the new year doing it the right way and letting the universe know what you want because this was all, this year was 2017, all about me, me, me. We're going into 2018, that's a two. It's all about your relationships. It's not only your partnership with the outer world, but it's the partnership with your inner world. And it's about time to really find that out first and then go out and whatever partnerships happen and relationships and make them all good ones and all peaceful ones. I love you very much. That's why I did this. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good New Year.